Well, hello, students. I hope you enjoyed the first week. And it looks like I've got a heavy metal and or death metal track that I've loaded into Reaper. Now, a lot of you asked me a lot of questions about DAWs. I understand you all saw me using Reason. However, I wanted to show you that the techniques and methodologies we learn in this class can be used in any DAW. And to prove a point, I am using Reaper. So, let's start all over. Let's zero out everything and see if we can get a feel for this mix. Now this is just a personal preference of mine, but I usually like to drop my playhead into the middle of the track, because that's usually when a lot of loudness occurs. You might have noticed that I already had some faders up. This was, however, when I was in a suboptimal environment and not using headphones and or monitors. So let's let's change that, shall we? All right, we've got death metal, black metal, some sort of extreme heavy metal, and I am completely flying blind. So let's see what we're working with. Well, I can already tell that that kick in is extremely well isolated. Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly like to have bass in my heavy metal. I understand that most heavy metal tends to have the bass in the mid-range, so it kind of blends in with the guitar. But I myself, I'm a big fan of the Cliff Burton era of Metallica, where you can actually hear the bass. This might come as a, a shock to you all, but this is just a personal preference of mine. I mean, I do in fact make electronic music and trap beats, so of course I'm going to want to hear the bass, even though heavy metal does not exactly lend itself to bass, especially death metal. I've seen earlier we clipped so of course we're gonna have to turn down some electric guitar because I just can't give up that bass but also at the same time these vocals matter too Those backing vocals certainly did a number on our dynamics. Okay. The guitars are gonna have to go a little bit lower. Let's start the track over, doing the right thing. Perhaps the kick is a little too high. Oh, that's good. 
As uh, a student brought up earlier, they were asking about polarity and or phase. Some DAWs have a little switch. You can just press the button. That was just something that got brought up in lecture. So if it happens again, if you ever have phase, just press the button. Make sure the volume is turned down low, though. Don't want to blow your ears out. Okay, I think you get the general gist. I'm not going to even bother playing the rest of the track. It, well, not only is it late at night, but uh, actually, that is a good point. It is late at night, and I'm slightly tired. So you should never mix when you're tired. got to learn to take a loss, and you got to know when to quit. So yeah, there we go. Here is our faders only mix so far. Let's make sure to save. All right, so we've got our death metal track, faders only. This is going to be a cumulative effect. We're going to work our way from the ground up. So remember, I am just as frustrated as you are with this assignment. And I purposely made myself mix it in a DAW environment that I am not entirely familiar with. It's always good to try to challenge yourself. This is just the very bare basic overview, faders only. Tune in next time for faders and panning.